everyone, it's Friday and the Seabird project is back. I'm here in my bilge. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who enjoyed my bilge dancing last week's episode. <laughs> On this week's episode, there won't be so much dancing and maybe some bad news and some wins as well. You'll see us finishing the sanding finally. Well, not the sanding, but sanding the anti fouling so we have started uh, filling and fairing and hopefully we'll be done with the hole soon we take the radar off as well and we find a no so pleasant surprise which is gonna cost us quite a bit of money the p bracket comes off as well yeah so a few things happening this week. I hope you enjoy the episode. If you watch our videos and haven't subscribed yet, go and click the button. It's free and uh, we are surprised because more than 50% of our viewers are not subscribed. So that's not cool people. <laughs> anyway, you know that that helps us with the algorithm and getting to reach many more people who might be interested on in watching this project. So yeah we will appreciate if you subscribe and also before i forget on sunday this sunday we are gonna be going live on youtube so we don't know the time yet stay tuned but it will probably be sunday evening so make sure you have a few beers and you can join us and i think that's all i wanted to say so i'll leave you with this uh, week's episode enjoy see you at the end Hopefully today is the last day of sanding. We've got a small patch there, a couple of bits on the bottom of the keel now that we've raised the boat. Cool. And hopefully we can... Yo, what? Sorry. That's no, right. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can drop the rudder as well. Careful, it's got a bit of dust. So yeah, I tried to push for it yesterday. Worked till like eight and a half. Nah, maybe eight's a bit of an exaggeration. Seven. I was like, come on, I must be able to do this last bit. Uh, no. And my body was aching, so yeah, hopefully it's not too bad. We'll just get it done. So that is it. Pretty much, that is five, five weeks of sanding. More or less complete. I'll show you around what I've got left to do, a tiny amount. So the areas left to do here. Grinding along here and underneath. The leading edge of the keel, is that how you say? What else have we got? This area here. Oh. Hopefully all those bits of sanding will be done today. We can clean up, maybe get a chance to have a look, do some inspecting. And yeah, don't really know what else to say. It's, uh, it's been long, it's been emotional. I hate sanding so much. But we managed to save most of the gel coat. Ground out the gel coat here uh, on the keel, because we'll repair it and then cover it with um, Fiberglassy stuff. The time's come to do something different than sanding. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to have a look and see if we can take all these off, get to the stuffing box to get it off because we want to drop the radar. Oh, my move. Oh, there you go. Not as bad as I thought. That's the ram. Nice. Okay, that's that. That's that. Okay, so that's obviously meant to go through an hour. <laughs> Good. 
this came off after a little bit of hammering. Gentle tapping, man. Gentle tapping. Gentle tapping as to as this. There's hammering and there's hammering. Now that this is free, we need to work on the bottom. But it doesn't look very promising. <laughs> well, you know what they say, you're only a broken bolt away from a three-day job. Here's prime example. The heads underneath, I don't know if you can see. Hello. No, uh, around here. Uh, yeah, they're just not happening. So we're hoping if we saw through here, we can at least get the rudder and this piece off, the shoe, the whatever, maybe a shoe, and then try and take this bit off. Well, just investigate more. Get the rudder off and take it from there. But it looks like we'll need some brass screws, the big ones. I'm sure we can find them. Let's see if we can get the old ones out. Okay. Oh, they seem pretty, isn't they? Whoop Ooh. Bar. Oh, pretty heavy. Maybe we can just. Uh, Maybe we can take the shoe. Yeah. Oh. Just the Nico is trying to get the fuel inject pump off the old lump. I'll show you the fuel inject pump. I'm having some issues getting it off, but uh, I'll figure it out. Or I'll just break it to be on belief. There's the inject pump there. I think it's a reverse thread. So every time I turn it, pistons go up and down. So let's see what we can do. I've also been painting the gearbox a little bit. So that's slowly getting ready. Maybe a little sanding and a bit more paint. Uh, painted some other bits on the engine, over here. Need a new thermostat housing, but that will come. Uh, yeah, we're getting there slowly. I just want the engine finished and packed away properly. Also, if anyone wants to buy this lamp, <laughs> it's for sale. Oh, this one doesn't look too good, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all corroded. Maybe not the best um, engine to buy, guys. <laughs> we might be just throwing it in the bin. You think? Yeah, maybe. Maybe someone can do something with it. No joy removing the uh, injector pump. Bit annoying, but I thought, leave it. I'll probably break something, so I'll put a put the lump on a new smaller pallet and put it to store so I can ask advice from the expert. Um, that's about it. So I'm just going to pack up and have some lunch. Try something else. No, not a total loss. So still working on the uh, underside, the old under the underbelly of the boat. Trying to get the p bracket off today taking the, the gel coat off the skeg to see what needs repairing there because obviously there needs to be some some repairs happening here and there so get this p-bracket off maybe take it up to the fabricator and get his opinion and see if it can be salvaged that's the p-bracket from the inside let's hope it comes out smoothly uh, like everything in a boat. <laughs> yeah, 
what I would give for a couple of wins right now. Uh, a win? Wins, yeah. Uh, it all seems to be losses. I was meant to be recording, uh, and something happened. Woo! Uh, this first one has started to turn, that's good. Let's try the next. Ooh, maybe. I need a bigger screwdriver. Uh, we're having some success, but my screwdriver's a bit ditty, so I think I need to buy a bigger screwdriver before I start breaking things. You know, if you just, because uh, it's a flathead, if you just sort of, you know, tweak that groove a little bit, it makes life ever so annoying. So, it gives me an excuse to go to the hardware store. So I'm gonna go to the hardware store, grab another screwdriver. I also bought some uh, bit mini fittings to cheer myself up. I found some stainless, so I might make a solid handrail for no reason, but uh, something to do. Anyway, back home we go. It moves, but it's a bit tight. Uh, free. Free. All right, let's go take the, finish taking the nuts off inside. Front and starboard. Okay. I'm on. I'm on. Uh, you might have to try, my love. No? No. Uh, we'll try the next one. Okay. It's off. This one doesn't want to come out. As I said, smooth operation. <laughs> That's all right. Three for four is not bad. <laughs> uh, here, let's bring some of this up. Lube it up, lube it up. We've left the nut soaking in oil for a bit. Let's see if he comes so. No? Okay. No joy. Stuart is butchered the nut. Okay, go! Finally! Here is the P bracket. Right. Let's give it a little bit of bashing and see if we can get it out. It's like a uh, kid's first tooth, you know? Oh, yeah. There she is. 
Gold Star, 41. Okay. It seems okay-ish. Moon is editing the video. I'm having another go at this uh, paddleboard thing. Third time's charm. Let's see if there's any bubbles. Let's see, we got no bubbles. Maybe. But it's holding firm from yesterday, so we'll see. We've got the neighbours with us. Say hello, neighbours. Hey. Hello. I'm pretty excited to see Matthias. Is, uh, and that's what you can make was an abandoned uh, life raft or a disused life raft. I don't know how you would put it. Hey, it's actually pretty good. Well, apart from a wet knee and a wet foot, success. Lot has gone. Matthias is off. They're fighting the Mistral. The Mistral's back in, so apologies for the wind again. Today we are grinding and fairing. We're starting to grind the little Little sort of blisters, little osmosis blisters um, all around the boat. So I've circled all the areas that need looking at. I'll grind those out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see what happens. We'll grind them and fair them, see if we can get that done today. And then tomorrow I can work on the next area. Yeah, there we go. It's you. Who's been drawing circles? I just want to clarify that I've been cutting Stuart's hair, but he doesn't let me finish, so it's looking pretty bad at the moment. Pretty bad. Marina will blame it on uh, the cutter. No. It's terrible like that. I'm yeah. not a very good hairdresser, but still, he yeah, hasn't yeah. let me finish, so it's I'll looking finish. a bit rough. I'll finish off myself. Uh, what about that one? That one might do. And he's finished. So I'm about to put a coat of primer on. And the window fits. First coat of primer is on. Now I need to wait 24 hours. Nice! So, ground out what needed to be ground out and rinsed it. You can have a little look. That, that one, none of them are massively deep. This one is the only one that's a bit deeper, a bit bigger. And maybe I'll put a little piece of fiberglass in it. Yeah, again, apologies for the wind. This side isn't as bad. Uh, but here, lots of pinholes, so... Yeah, we'll try. Yeah, we'll see how it pans out. All right, I'll give it half an hour to dry off, and then uh, maybe come down with some of this filler. Then we'll see what the filler's like. Paddleboard has sprung another leak. I thought I'd fixed it. Uh, that's what happens when you find stuff in the bin. All right, so we're trying out this fairing compound. So this is it. We've got the trusty uh, Dreams card. Don't know where that came from.
Nice! Rudder is off, B bracket is off, we've started filling the hole, progress is happening. <laughs> it might look like it's not, but we think slowly, slowly we're making some progress. It seems like weeks go by so quickly and we have so much to do. And I don't know where you all are, but here the weather is starting to turn now, after the heat wave. <laughs> So yeah, starting to get a bit more humid, there is rain coming, which is not good for some deck repairs we're doing at the moment, for the hole. So yeah, it's gonna get more challenging. So hopefully we can give it a good push before the real winter comes. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for staying till the end, thank you for supporting us every week. Thank you to everyone who donates every week and thank you to our patrons is really helping us out a lot with the project. As you saw on this episode, the rudder stock is not looking very healthy, which we think is going to cost us a little bit of money. So everything helps and we are always super grateful. So thank you very much and hopefully see you on Sunday on the live. If not, see you next week on Friday. Bye!